It's Emergency Preparedness Month, and officials want you to be prepared for situations that could occur year-round. Our campaign push is take 10 minutes on 1010, which basically you go through your house, come up with an emergency evacuation plan. This pamphlet uh, is information that helps the community feel safer at home. Um, not to be afraid of calling the police, because the more information that we receive, uh, the better it helps us. The Emergency Preparedness Fair was held on the grounds of Johns Hopkins University in Rockville. The event provided great resources for folks looking to build their emergency plan. It would be a good idea just to check out all the different tents and really learn as much as possible about safety, prevention matters, uh, techniques, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I just want to be informed. The Stop the Bleed campaign is something that the American College of Surgeons, uh, through a consensus, put together. So this, the goal of it is to teach every um, citizen um, to be able to stop the bleed. If you recognize the life-threatening bleeding, the first thing you do is, um, is if it's on a uh, an extremity is to apply a tourniquet and turn it until the bleeding stops. Council member Sydney Katz got a lesson in how to use a tourniquet and what it takes to stop the bleed. In a God forbid event you have to be prepared. And also you realize that even though you might not be thinking about it you have plenty of other people who are thinking about it. Anytime a tourniquet is applied it will be extremely painful that is completely normal and to be expected. <laughs> The Department of Homeland Security has 12 of these trucks across the country in the event of a disaster or national event. We've used the vehicle for all sorts of situations. Let's take the Boston bombing, for example. Uh, we actually had to use the truck for communications and for command and control because it, it happened in an area away from where normal federal buildings are at. So the investigators, they had to have some place where they can type up their information to have access to the internet, so forth and so on. That's what this truck can do. And it gives them the capability to get their work done and to go back out in the field quickly. And when all else fails, the folks with the Montgomery County Amateur Radio Group have your back the old-fashioned way. Tell us about these, these radios and how they help folks out in emergency situations. Okay, basically there's no infrastructure. So if there is no infrastructure, that means we can communicate to anybody anywhere. We can take our equipment to an emergency location, bring our own power, bring our own antennas, and set up probably in an hour. For more information about other events this month or what you need to do to be prepared, visit the county's webpage. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.